What's up? Here we are one week later updating you on the progress of the new vertical tower system, giving you a look at the progress of the growth with some mixed results so far. Firstly, I rigged up a 15mm polypipe structure to keep the netting a bit higher and to support the honey snap peas that I ended up moving to the top of each tower. They are doing the best out of all the crops so far. There has been some amazing growth overall, even though it's only been one week, but there are some pretty serious signs of malnutrition on the coriander, french beans, bok choy, and even the lettuce. These little buggers keep eating my leafy greens and broccoli, so they get fed to the fish if I happen to catch them. I'll probably make up a chili garlic spray and see if that keeps them off. Most of the rainbow chard has survived and has put on its second set of leaves and is just starting to throw their third set now. I transplanted a whole bunch of the strawberries into the towers on the right by separating the crowns and the runners. Again there are some mites or aphids that need dealing with but despite the transplanting they are mostly looking okay. The lettuce and the bok choy in the deep water culture are smaller but show less signs of nutritional deficits. Three of the broccoli are doing well but the other three have been munched on by critters so I'm going to have to protect them somehow. Another project that has been very effective are these wicking half barrels. They both have water reservoirs down the bottom, but the one on the right has a composting chamber in the middle made out of a 20 litre bucket with holes in it for worms and compost movement. The first barrel had a young avocado plant in it, but it died after being half eaten by Rosie. So now it has a mango sapling in there that I've raised from seed and some volunteer tomatoes that I am yet to transplant somewhere else. The second barrel has a fairy tale eggplant in it that is constantly producing these amazing striped fruit. Ratatouille tonight! We also have oregano a somewhat struggling Popeye spinach, an ornamental chili plant that is super productive but not very hot, and some chives growing as well, and some offspring of the chili. Over the next week I'm going to be addressing the nutritional deficits of the system, bumping up the iron, magnesium, calcium and phosphate, and seeing what happens to the crops. And hopefully we might see some mini broccoli, curled kale, tatsoi, and spinach beet spring to life out of these seeds I planted. See you next week. Peace.